So, and I think he's going to have to uh, be on his toes because I've got a feeling it might be a little bit competitive uh, in the midfield here, especially with Robbie Savage, who will definitely lead from the front. Yeah, I think we might just be in for one of those nights here. It's got a real good atmosphere. And a far from full Ewood Park. Now the flag stayed down. And Salzburg might just have an early opening. Well, it was a very, very sloppy start from Blackburn Rovers. And well, they got away with that. Poor clearance from Brad Friedel. You know, nearly dropped his side in it very early on. It was Christian Tiffert who uh, nearly made the breakthrough. Couldn't get his shot away. Very, very attacking lineup picked by Trevor Tony. That man, Tiffert, on the right, Von Lanten on the left. They can both be uh, realistically described as strikers. And in front of them, you've got Zickler, who's never quite fit but always seems to play alongside Janko. Yeah, Zickler's the main threat for them, and uh, I think everybody realized it or assumed he was going to be fit, but a lot was made of his, uh, his injury. And thought that he might not play tonight I think uh, most of the Blackburn side and the club here thought that he was uh, definitely going to be playing so it's no surprise that he is now an Austrian colleague of ours up near our commentary position said that Zickler always has uh, an injury doubt before every game but uh, ends up starting they have a little bit of pace up front Blackburn Rovers with uh, Benny McCarthy and now an inspired loan signing in Shivani Nanda Up towards Yanko. He will be an aerial threat. I think it's encouraging for Blackburn Rovers that Andre Uya had easily his best game for the club uh, against Middlesbrough at the weekend as Savage went in with a scything challenge. The flag's up this time. Didn't quite time his run right. Yeah, Von Lampen getting in there just trying to see outside. I thought it was a bit of a close decision because. As we can see, is Lucas Neal, more or less level with the, the attacker, but the flag's up, so free kick to Blackburn. Yeah, it's not a game you want to play too much. No, it's going to be interesting, Dave, I think, when uh, Salzburg do pump the ball long from the keeper's hands, that you can see the two strikers pushing onto the two centre-halves and the two wide midfield players with Salzburg will be right on top of the two full-backs, so it'll be four against four, and uh, got to be careful. It's given away, and McCarthy looks out wide. Swung in towards uh, Shivani Nanda, but well over his head in the end. Chance for David Bentley to have a run. Deflected behind for the first corner of the game. Good start this from Lando now. Yeah, well played David Bentley. Eh? He's not trying to do anything fancy. It was a good cross from the left first. And ends up Bentley on the edge of the 18-yard box. He's just thinking, let me just chip one into the 18-yard box again. The worst we'll get out of it is a corner. Now, this corner kick will be taken in front of the... 35 travelling Salzburg fans. We're told that's the rough figure. Came over on a bus because the flight was too expensive. But it was swung deep, at pace, too high for Nonda. Yeah, Pellison wasting the, the corner, usually they're very, very good on their set pieces, and I think it'll be an important part of the Blackburn game tonight. Uh, people like David Bentley can run at the uh, Salzburg defenders, win free kicks around the 18-yard box. We might get a repeat of the Robbie Savage wonderful free kick that uh, we saw in Austria. I enjoyed Tim Sherwood's uh, comments about Robbie Savage in our studio. He's a nuisance, but in the nicest possible way, I think is what he said. Kind of know what he means, don't you? Here's Benny McCarthy. Now two guys. Bentley tried the trick. Nice tempo to the game. Good solid challenge by Bentley. Flicks it forward again. McCarthy's looking for support in the centre. Bentley's arriving, he might just go on his own. Timo Ox forced into the save. Really bright now. Yeah, good play from Blackburn there. Quick in the tackle in midfield, they've won the ball back. McCarthy in there. It was tight, I'm not sure he didn't really have an option to pull the ball back to on the edge of the 18-yard box. Maybe he could have just done with another option. Four by Savage, and, well, that was a little optimistic by David Bentley. Timo Ox 
Certainly troubled early on by Benny McCarthy. Yeah, I think it was just a shame that there wasn't a midfield player coming into the 18-yard box late. I think Benny checks inside. He has a quick look, sees there isn't anybody to slide the ball to. Decided to have a go for goal himself. Good save, Ox standing up strong. Offside. Didn't like it there, Benny McCarthy. He tried to hold his run. I think it's so difficult for the referee's assistants now to uh, aim what is onside, what is offside. And I think players just have to accept that if the flag's raised, it's given, and that's it. Just get on with it. Danger. When Salzburg go forward at times, they do attack at pace, they pass the ball well, but Zickler is absolutely key for them. Foul by Dudic on Lucas Neal. Played fantastically in the World Cup, Lucas Neal at central defence, but he's left back for Blackburn Rovers. Yeah, good player, Lucas Neal. Very solid, experienced, a bit bad. Clearance by Friedel. Good little flick on as well by Nonda. Flag was up on this near side. Not quite timing those runs right at the moment, Shivani Nonda. Yeah, it's difficult. There's not a lot of room for Nonda to run into once the ball has been flicked on by Pedersen. Also, here's the deck here after the rain that uh, you mentioned earlier, Dave. The pitch is firm. And the ball is going to skid off the surface. It's going to be interesting to see how the keepers uh, manage to deal with long range shots and the bounce in front of them. Janko beaten in the air again there by Zurab Kizineshvili. Again, they look long and they look quickly towards Shivani Nanda, who's got serious pace. But Ox did well. to the danger Ox doing a sweeping up job behind his back foot there's Neil Andre Uya who had a nightmare start to his Blackburn Rovers career the defeat here by Chelsea where he gave away a penalty and then made a mistake for a goal forward towards Von Lanten just couldn't control Always been regarded, Johan von Lanten, as one of the coming players in European football. He's only 20 years of age, but it still hasn't quite worked anywhere for him at club level. This very exciting uh, Red Bull side might just be his chance. Away for a Red Bull. Salzburg throw. Yeah, Lucas Neal just giving the ball away and having to uh, chat back and also giving the, free, uh, the throwing away. It's getting quite competitive in that midfield area. There's no real flow to the game at the moment. Well, they're taking it off. McCarthy, it's Carboni. Gave the ball up really easily. It's not a bad cross either. Good header by Uya. He had Janko loitering in behind him, but he managed to stretch it clear. Oh, and that was a clash of heads. Involving Robbie Savage. And guess who came off worst? And now, uh, just uh, Vargas didn't like that. He thought there was something wrong with Savage's challenge. I don't think there was, it was right down below us. I think it was a fairly uh, yeah, honest clash of heads, as we can see. Wrong with the challenge. I mean, both players just trying to play the ball. I, I can see I why it looked bad. I can see why Vargas thought that. I think Robbie's made a genuine effort just to stick his head in there and win the ball. He didn't win the ball, and sometimes things like that happen. You make a bit of contact, and let's hopefully he's not uh, too badly hurt. I think it might just be uh, one of those that takes a while to recover. A dose of smelling salts, and he'll be back on. Just shook him up a little bit. 
Because the reason Robbie Savage came off so well is all the hair protects him. <laughs> yeah, Kovac has had worse than that and uh, lived to tell the tale. Tough player, Nico Kovac, former Bayern Munich man in the centre of the Red Bull Salzburg midfield. Good vision there from Shabani Nonda. For the first time, really, they had players forward inside the penalty area, but Lucas Neal's cross was charged down. Yeah, I think Lucas Neal could have just done with a little bit of support out on that wide left flank. I mean, it's not his natural side to be whipping crosses in from. He had three or four players in the 18-yard box, but uh, couldn't find a, a way to get the cross in. Well, they want the service from out there to come from uh, Morton Gans Pedersen. He's got a, a wonderful left foot. Kovac is back on, by the way. Here's Bentley, who started the game really well. Such an inventive player on his night. Now Von Lanten. Robbie Savage charging back. Putting in so much work, Robbie Savage. He wants the group stage of the UEFA Cup. Well, Disappointment in Europe already twice with uh, Leicester City, Robbie Savage. Now two guy. I think they waited a good break there, Salzburg, because down the right-hand side, I think it was Tipper to the... Made a lot of uh, room up, and he's in 50 yards of space. This might get interesting. Nanda was chasing. He's just enjoying playing football at the moment, Shabani Nanda. He's had so many uh, injury problems. I remember him breaking his leg at the Parc des Princes. It's a late challenge by Von Lanten. And this referee is trying to calm things down and trying not to book anyone, but if it carries on like this, he's going to have to. Yeah, I think David Bentley saw it coming uh, the last minute and just uh, managed to get himself out of harm's way. He's got the free kick, though. And that was another sliding challenge, and we are going to have the first yellow card. I think he had to do that. It's Zickler. I think you've got to take into account that it is a bit of a, a slippy surface out there, and Zickler's first challenge is made for the ball. Really, first foul is given away and he's in the book. Just unfortunate that he was uh, the third of three quick fouls that had been made. Well, he's paid the price for what went before. He did stretch in. I think it's fair to say the Blackburn Rovers fans are out singing those at the moment from uh, Red Bull Salzburg. And just a tad. Oh, you're using all his experience there against Yanko. You don't always have to go up and win the header. Yeah, he's given away a few inches to Yanko. To Andre, yeah, he's got to, I say, they've used that experience, let the ball run if he can. Well, as you know, Russell, not all central defenders need to be uh, six foot four, six foot five. No, but it would have made it easier. I was going to say he did it with a bit of guile, but I think it was a whack in the back of the neck in the first two minutes of the game normally that stopped your centre forward scoring. Yeah, you couldn't get away with it nowadays. It's true. You'd never have played. Bit of a delay. They managed to get it clear in the air. There wasn't too much talking going on there. Throw in by Everton. Oya has time, and Zickler now is aware from an early stage in the game that he's got that yellow card hanging over him. I think Blackburn have just got to be a little bit careful because now and again they're ending up in situations where it's four defenders against four attackers, and any mistake the defender makes is going to cost them. Great flick there towards Everton. Well, this is the thing about the referee, and I don't think he is going to produce the card, but having booked Zickler for one challenge, Consistency. Yeah, and that's uh, Von Lampen's uh, sec second foul in the uh, space of three minutes. Wide towards Gams Pedersen. Nonda will chase it down, but unsuccessfully. Never quite sure what to call this uh, Salzburg side. They've had so many names over the years. Casino Salzburg, Austria Salzburg. And uh, when Red Bull took over, they said this club now officially has no history. 
can't talk about honours they've won. It's an entirely different football club. And in fact, uh, a group of fans has uh, patented the name, has, has won the rights to use it, and uh, rather like Wimbledon, started again in the seventh division in Austria. And we wish them well, the uh, SV Austria Salzburg, as they're known. Crazy world we live in. Oh, he is under pressure. And Christian Tiffert nearly managed to wrestle his way through. Yeah, two guys just putting his uh, defence under a little bit of uh, unwanted pressure. Let's cope with it OK. Nonda. Fairly risky ball from Bodnar, but it worked out. Unlike Von Lanten's ball forward. Remind you of the uh, match situation, the, the tie situation. Two all draw in the first leg, so Blackburn Rovers would be through on away goals at the moment, but they don't want to go through like this. Ball just bouncing up there and catching David Bentley on the arm. And uh, with the referee's assistant being only about 10 yards away from David Bentley, clearly viewed by him. Forward by Emerton. Now Benny McCarthy. A really weak attempt that by Carboni. <laughs> and after criticising him, he wins it back. Now Kovac, here's Von Lanten, who we were told would start wide on the left, but has played a lot more centrally than that. A little bit of space now for Benny McCarthy. Just wanted too much time on the ball. Now Nonda. He likes to surge forward and have a shot from those sort of positions, but looks wide to Bentley. And it goes from Bentley, but I think Morton Gans Pedersen got a call there, or at least thought he did. And the ball's out of play. The Rovers fans away on the far side don't like it. Yeah, I think you're right, Dave. I think uh, Pedersen was expecting Benny Manar, uh, McCarthy to come in at the far post and attack the ball, but decided to stay out of the attack on that occasion. Certainly looks a little bit bemused. And he gives the free kick against Benny McCarthy. Despite their uh, defeat by Sturm Graz at the weekend, they're still five points clear of the Austrian Bundesliga, Red Bull Salzburg, and uh, they are becoming the Chelsea of Austria, albeit, of course, on a lower level, but it's all relative. The feeling already that they're trying to buy their success, and... But Trapattoni, Mateus in a decent, if not star-studded squad. Club with big ideas and a sponsor with very big ideas. Taken short towards Carboni. And this is Johan von Lanten. And it's drifted in! And that was Zorab, who did really well to get it away, but Carboni's shot flies just wide. Brad Friedel had to watch it carefully. Super clearance there by Zurab Kizanishvili. Well, it's similar to the cross that they scored the late goal with out in Austria, but this time he says Zurab managed to get a foot on it and made the clearance. He likes being called Zurab, apparently. Commentators certainly like it. That'll do for me. Too many syllables. Now, this is dangerous. Had to be very careful again there, Zorab. Nicely done by Tugay. Now Brett Emerson. I just think Blackburn have just got to tighten the game up a little bit. There's uh, a few... a few uh, unforced errors creeping into the game. Like the little pass there from David Bentley and she wanted to lose passes in midfield. Just got to be a bit respectful and a bit careful in what they're doing. Kovac, an awful lot of space out there. This is Bodnar. 
Red Bull Salzburg certainly having their best spell of the game. Talking to a couple of Blackburn Rovers fans outside the ground, and uh, they were telling me in wonderfully glass, half-empty style that we'll probably make a mess of it. I'll have a few quid on Red Bull, one of them said to me. Well, I think they've just got to be careful because they are trying to push players forward whenever they get the chance, uh, Red Bull Salzburg. You know, and it's OK, yeah, Blackburn saying, well, you know, four against four, we're OK, but it only takes one slip from a defender and then you, you are outnumbered. I think you'd just like to see uh, Blackburn get hold of the ball a little bit more and play at the tempo that they want to play at. Just keep possession of the ball a little bit longer. Little nudge in the back there by Yanko. Now Savage has been typically all energy so far. Bentley. McCarthy and Nonda in the centre. And now Von Lantet is seeing plenty of the ball. Here's Yanko. Very good quick feed for someone of his size. Yeah, he moves inside. And so up just uh, sticking her foot in. Not bad decision from the centre half, just to bring him down on the halfway line. Gets away without uh, picking up a yellow card. Gives all his defenders a chance to get back and get organised again. Rather aimlessly away. I think he always knew uh, Mark Hughes that he was signing real class in uh, Andre Uya, but also knew it would take a while for him to settle in, and it has. He seems to be doing much better now. Bodner. Forward towards Zickler. Always a, a bit part player, really, at Bayern Munich. 51 goals in 214 games. Very, very useful player. Bentley. A little bit of space for him. Now Benny McCarthy. Well, Bentley's done well to get across away, but right into the arms of Timo Ox. Yeah, Bentley's in a lot of the ball. Didn't really get any... Any good height on the cross, nice little one to play with Benny McCarthy. It's a bit of a tight angle, but you know, you would hope if you're going to whip it in like that, that one of your strikers might make it towards the near post and get across in front of the goalkeeper. Don't forget at half time, Tim Capel will be along in our studio, which is just below us here in the ground, along with uh, former Blackburn Rovers players Mike Newell and Tim Sherwood. Mike Newell, the man who scored the penalty that took Blackburn Rovers into the Premiership before, if you like, the great times playoff final against Leicester. From memory, he'd come back from pretty much a season out with injury and took it very well. Janko. Flicked on towards Zickler. Little slip there by Zorab. And Zickler looks in the centre towards Von Lanten, who just didn't catch up with the shot at all. But it's exactly the sort of incident, the sort of areas you're talking about with Blackburn having to be careful. Yeah, they're, they're suddenly defending uh, man for man and one slip from a defender as we saw there and suddenly uh, they get a little bit exposed. Lovely swinging cross for Emerson and Nondo threw himself at it. It's more like it from Red Emerson who missed the final Borussia Dortmund UEFA Cup final through suspension. Yeah, he likes to get forward, he's a, a good provider of crosses. You know, and it's a difficult header for but none who's already passed the near post, trying to get some direction on it. But good movement though, better play from Blackburn. Big header by Uya. Well, that's just a real climb by Kovac into the back of Robbie Savage. I don't know if that was some kind of retribution. Kovac's chance came. <laughs> And I think he's just let Robbie know that, yeah, that's one each now. You just see it here, Kovacs gets in early, puts an arm across the, the back of Robbie Savage's head. Gives him a little clonk. That's it, that's one each. 
It's what you always call a whack, isn't it? Good old-fashioned whack across the back of the head. Well, I'm not sure if uh, Robbie Savage is leaving the pitch because he's, uh, he's bleeding or... Well, he's certainly looking that way. Looking rather disconsolate in his right hand. Yeah, well, he's not had treatment, so obviously he's been sent to the twist line because of the blood. Oh, it bounces through dangerously, real chance to Pedersen, and he's still there! Wonderful save by Ox. But it fell onto his favoured left foot and he couldn't take advantage. Yeah, it's a good opportunity, but they've got to switch on again now, Blackburn. Here's Von Lanten developing into a real end-to-end -end game, this. He's well to get back to his feet there, Yanko. Just on side, Von Lanten. Should give uh, Robbie Savage a chance to get back on the pitch now after quick running repairs. Robbie's back. Best chance of the game so far, though. Falling to Blackburn Rovers. Yet again, Friedel goes long and early towards Shabani Nonda. Might as well when you've got so much pace up front. Nice improvisation there by Uya. Here's Bentley. Two guy. Here's Lucas Neal. Really nice link up play, and Brad Emerton to swing it in. That would have been some goal if someone had got on the end of that. 12 13 passes at pace. Because they got players into the penalty area, that penalty area there, Blackburn. They lessened themselves a little bit short at the back, and if uh, Salzburg again had uh, used the break a little bit better, it could have given Blackburn a big problem. Forward by Carboni. If you listen really carefully, you can hear those Salzburg fans. I was told 35, but I think there are more than that. There's 36 at least. Forward towards McCarthy. <laughs> Taking it quickly. Robbie Savage was the only person who realised. <laughs> now Zurab. <laughs> Safely back to Friedel. Benny McCarthy. Bentley with Brett Emerton in support. It wasn't the best clearance, but they got away with it. Carboni. Well, that was Zickler appealing. Thought it was a body check, but referee says nothing. Who body checked who? I think. I think he knocked the ball past Lucas Neal and then just ran into him. And there I said, no, I can't give you a free kick for that. Run round him. McCarthy. Now Bentley. Get a second chance to cross through Everton. Two guy might think about winding up the shot. Oh, precision from two guy. Nonda. Well, there was only really Pedersen to aim at. And Pedersen, same thing again. He thought there was a shout behind him. He thought someone was arriving, and they weren't. Yeah. Well, he's coming in from the wide position, and really, you know, he shouldn't be the only person in the 18 yard box. Well, the best chance of the game so far falling to Pedersen, he hit it well enough, it was a very good save by Hawks. Yeah, he hit it well, it's like a, a bit of a bicycle kick, he's up in the air trying to take the volley on early because the ball won't come down and, you know, credit to Hawks, he's, he's done a good job, he stood his ground, stood tall and uh, made it difficult for Pedersen to get the ball past him. Well, the referee 
I mentioned earlier, suspended in Portugal, allowed to referee UEFA Cup matches, done well enough so far, and it, it's had a bit of edge to it this game. Niko Kovac to take the free kick. Two guys head up. Great strength from Nonda. Now Savage. Emerton. It's a good header away, but excellent service from Brett Emerton. Bentley. Blackburn would love a breakthrough to just relieve some of the pressure. Here's two guy. Gorgeous ball towards Nanda. He sees openings that no one else does, two guy, and Shivani Nanda did well to get on the end of it, but once he did, might have done better. Well, it's a super ball. Two guy, if you're going to stand off him and allow him the time to pick passes out, he will do this all day for Blackburn. And he drops it in behind the defender. And he's just asking Nanda to try and hit it on the volley. I think he lost sight of it by the defender sticking his boot out at the last minute and anything back across the goalkeeper has probably found the back of the net. Great combination, two guy and Robbie Savage. Forward towards McCarthy. Pedersen's getting into the centre, it's a great turn from McCarthy! It's an opening goal for Blackburn Rovers. Beautifully done by Benny McCarthy. And are they on their way to the group stage? Well, that's what Blackburn needed, they needed a goal. You say David just calmed the nerves a little bit, and lovely play the by Benny McCarthy. Number 10, Benny McCarthy. It's a great finish, great movement. He leaves the defender standing on the edge of the 18-yard box, puts it inside. And then I think he just uh, throws the goalkeeper a bit of a dummy with his eyes. He was expecting the shot to go across the face of the goal. And in fact, he beats the goalkeeper on the near post, but this is where the damage was done. Quick flick inside, lovely turn. And keeper's just on him a little bit too much at the near post. Super finish by Benny McCarthy. Clean, clinical finish. It was beautifully done, but when you see it again, question mark defender, question mark goalkeeper. Yeah, I think they're both going to have done better. You know, when you're playing against strikers of uh, Benny McCarthy's calibre, one on one, you've always got to expect them to try and do something clever. And Benny tried it, got away with it. The defender was sleeping a little bit, and then, you know, the goalkeeper's going to show him too much at the near post. That was late from Tiffert, very late, and the referee didn't spot it, nor did his assistant. Clattered into Bentley. Bentley couldn't believe that. Uh, didn't get a free kick at least. Here's Nonda. They're trying to hack him down as well. Pedersen's ever charged down. Appeals for handball. As the saying goes, the game needed a goal. Yeah. The atmosphere needed a goal. And now we've got a real European night here. Yeah, and if tackles start flying in at the likes of David Bentley, then he's got enough teammates out there that can look after themselves, and they'll look after David Bentley as well. David Bentley has returned after... Being taken out by Tiffin. Salzburg throw. Pedersen claiming it should be his. And we're getting a lecture now from the referee. Well, you don't want to argue too much about a throw, especially when you've just gone one up. His big Yanko. Do like his mobility and agility as well as the physical threat. The referee calling it back. The ball wasn't stationary. I don't think. Lofted towards Zickler. Now Emerton. And of course, because of the two away goals, it means that Red Bull Salzburg must score twice, whatever happens now. But 2-1 would still take them through. 2-2, we'd be into extra time. 
Bonalanthan just giving away yet another free kick, so his free kick count is uh, getting higher by the minute in this first half. He's yet to receive a yellow card. Half turn by Nonda. There's Tiffert. Now Yanko. <laughs> Having praised him for his quick feet, he looked like he was wearing clogs there. Yeah, he's just got to get hold of the ball a little bit better. You know, every time they're going forward at the moment, uh, Salzburg, they're, they're not retaining possession. Both of the front runners, uh, Janko and uh, Zickler, they're not uh, making the ball stick and they're not bringing the midfield players into play well enough. Well, they've had half openings rather than real big chances, Red Bull Salzburg, and you start to wonder how they're going to get back into the game. Trapattoni will be thinking just that. But if you want someone with experience and with a great record, well, you couldn't have anyone better to turn to. No, and really, the only way they'll uh, get back into the game, or the only way they should get back into the game, is uh, if Blackburn lose concentration. And lose concentration at the back or at set pieces. And they have come perilously close to doing that on a couple of occasions, though, Blackburn. There's certainly hope for the Austrian side. He was taking his time. It was Kovac, and he's going to get a yellow card. He's going to get a yellow card for deliberate handball. Well, I mean, that's a little bit harsh from the referee. In fact, I think it's very harsh. He's trying to close the ball down. He doesn't want to get it blasted in his face and uh, picked up a yellow card instead. But. Again, Friedel getting closed down, giving himself a problem, and he did that in the very first minute of the game, which nearly led to a, a chance for Salzburg. Well, they bounced through to Bentley, but it's a foul by the goal scorer, Benny McCarthy. Kovac is still quietly fuming and chuntering away to himself about that yellow card. Shoving the back on Janko. Unnecessarily, really, from Zorab. Yeah, Zorab can just let him win the ball, and I think Blackburn would have picked the ball up off, uh, off Zickler then. McCarthy. Here goes Robbie Savage. Tried to play it early, Nonda had made another run. Yeah, Robbie Savage expecting him to go into the inside left position and uh, Nonda going to the inside right position. Just a breakdown in uh, understanding between the two Blackburn players. Robbie Savage has been terrific though, every blade. It's great energy, and so competitive too. Does it all with a smile on his face? Well, most of the time. You'd have loved playing against him, wouldn't you, Robbie Savage? I could, I could see it now. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a great admirer of him. You know, I like players that play with passion. You know, and he certainly does that. And he's, he's not afraid to uh, mix it with the, uh, with the big boys, or the tough guys, so to speak. <laughs> you know, and he'll stand up and be counted. Might break here for Alex Zickler. They give anything for a goal before half time. And Zickler has gone down holding his left ankle. He nearly made a significant contribution to the game there, but that little half hobble could be just as significant. Is he running it off? I think he might be okay. Yeah, I didn't see any contact made as he shot from a Blackburn defender. Didn't get the shot clean enough where he just tweaked his ankle a little bit. And it goes from Milan Dudic. Just walking a little bit gingerly at the moment, Zickler. This is Carboni. Should have hit it the first time, thought about it, and they never really sat up for him again. Oh, he's, uh, he's working hard, Carboni, in uh, that midfield area for Salzburg, and you see, 
was he going to hit it? And then sort of tried to stab a shot through the crowd of uh, Blackburn defenders, just dragging it wide. But a good player. It's like a hairdresser's convention in the midfield with him and Savage. Nonda. Forward by Pedersen. Good play from Shabani Nonda. Yeah, very good play from uh, from Nonda. The first header back to his teammate was good because, you know, he popped it back over the Salzburg player. Good awareness where his teammates were and how to get the ball back to them. Gans Pedersen is now going to whip this in, outswing them with his left foot. Pedersen takes it short to McCarthy. His goal separates the sides here. Free to an aggregate Blackburn Rovers League. Turned himself inside out there, Benny McCarthy. I'm surprised he was out there. Bowser's the striker just be hanging about the 18 yard box when you get up that end of the field. Well, he doesn't look it, but he will be happy. The way they played out with the scoreline. Now Savage. Here's two guy. Well, it might just drop through, but no. The rain has livened up the surface. Big disguise on the pass from two guy, and uh, I don't think uh, Nondo read it either. The rain has stopped, by the way, at uh, Ewood Park. It will restart the moment that we leave the stadium and make our way home. Them's the rules. Here's Pedersen. Forward by Everton. Sloppy that from Shabani Nanda, but he's done so much right tonight. Here's Neil. Sign that they're relaxing, that they're starting to play a little bit, Blackburn Rovers. Here's Lucas Neil again. Oh, yeah. Now, two guy. He's one of those entrance fee players, two guy. Just great to watch. Little flick forward towards Von Lanten. Ah, if he got the ball right, it was on. Tifford had made a good run ahead of him. Cut out well by the experienced. Jorge Vargas, Chilean in the heart of the Red Bull Salzburg defence. Niko Kovac, more experience from him in the centre of the midfield. And here's Alexander Zickler. He's done well, he's done really well, uh, Zorak Kizanishvili tonight. Surely a foul by Kovac. He'd better just tread a little bit more carefully than that. Yeah, as soon as he made the challenge and uh, Nonda went to ground, you can see Kovac has got his hands up in the air saying, Man, I didn't really touch him, referee. So don't send me off. Zura. Won't be too much time to be uh, added on here, I wouldn't have thought. Here's Savage. Edmonton had to turn back inside and did well. Forward by two guy. Nice fluidity about Blackburn Rovers, and here's the right back Edmonton charging through the middle to demonstrate that and winning a corner. Yeah, well played, Brett Edmonton. The powerful runner does like to get forward and forcing a, an air out of Linker. Good opportunity now for Blackburn to extend their lead going into half time. This uh, would be a bonus for them if they could. Zurab is forward. It's drilled though towards two guy. Training ground didn't work. Workman like unspectacular so far from Blackburn Rovers, but very, very effective. Here's Bentley. That's a super ball played in! Oh! 
What a chance for Benny McCarthy to just about seal their place in the group stage. Everyone inside the ground thought it was in. Yeah, super play. Great ball into the 18-yard box again by David Bentley. It's just difficult when the ball's come up off the ground and skips up head high, trying to get it back on target. Super contact made. It's so unfortunate to knock it past the post. Well, I hope they don't regret that. Big miss from Benny McCarthy, having scored a super goal himself. But a difficult chance, difficult one to take. It's interesting getting your technical explanation of that, because people at home will call that a sitter. Well, yeah, you know, the ball is crossed and it seems to accelerate as it skips off the surface. It's, it's suddenly on you very, very quickly. It's one of those you try and get the direction right and make decent contact on it. And it was so close to scoring a terrific goal. It's Morton Gabs Pedersen. Well, there is the half-time whistle. And Russell Osman, I think the guys in the studio, the analysis is pretty much that this is Blackman Rovers to lose now. Yeah, yeah, I think we said towards the end of the first half, I think uh, they can only be their own worst enemy. If they keep the concentration and keep things simple and keep playing at a high tempo, then uh, they will do fine, Rovers, and I think they'll just add to the goal that they've already scored. I think they've got to get the ball forward, they've got to pressurise uh, the midfield areas. And straight away we see uh, Robbie doing just that, you know, and uh, obviously people getting a little bit fed up of him already. Well, the referee didn't much like Carboni's reaction. I'm not sure what language they're speaking, but uh, I'm sure it's not Welsh. Savage understood what Carboni was getting on about. Yeah, I think if Blackburn could just eliminate some of the the unforced errors that they made in the first half and just tying things up and you know they're, they're three quarters of the way through getting this job done and it would be a shame to uh, make this this last quarter any harder than it really needs to be and a great result out in Austria first half performance good and solid but I just think it could be a bit better could be a bit tidier as Mike Neal said at half time uh, a goal for Salzburg and it's back on a knife edge. Menton would be in the visitor's favour there, but you just wonder where a goal's going to come from. Hungarian captain Bodnar tracking back, but given away to Morton Gans Pedersen. He's beaten him three times here, Pedersen. And deliciously in towards Bentley, who can't quite get it back across the face of goal. Good tempo, though, from Blackburn. Yeah, that's better. That's the sort of thing they're going to have to do. But it's interesting, David Bentley's trying to get onto this on the far post, and you, you can see just behind him how slow I think it's Benny McCarthy getting into the area behind him. Job not done yet. Here's Alex Zickler, lost his footing at the crucial moment. Almost got himself into a Benny McCarthy position there, but... What a just chance that was. That was a fantastic chance for him, Dave. I mean, he's come in, he's cutting on his right foot, he's just over-hit the ball and slipped. I mean, all he's got to do is get inside the defender by a yard and hit the shot. Does look a danger when he runs at them. Again, just a little uh, warning for Blackburn. It is quite hard to keep your footing out there. The rain, as I said, has livened things up. And I just saw Tiffett's turning circle there. Wasn't the quickest. Vargas protests that it was only a throw, and the referee agrees. Well, it takes no prisoners, Vargas. He's a Chilean central defender. What do you expect? The sort of job title has got toughness written all over it, that. <laughs> Here's Morton Gans Pedersen to drive one across the face of goal. I'm sure it was a shot, but it nearly turned into a perfect pass for Shivani Nanda. Yeah, Dubic just... Uh, I don't know if he was uh, aware of what was going on behind him. But I think he really could have let the ball run. In the end, he's just sort of made sure that it's out of harm's way. But now let's see if Pedersen can... Uh, I think he's got a problem with the ball, saying the ball's not uh, pumped up enough. Must be the reason he overhit his first corner by uh, 10 yards. 
Well, he's such a danger, Pedersen, he can score from these. And Oxford know all about that. And it comes from Pedersen. Well, the free kick, but goodness me, Benny McCarthy was unmarked there. And good corner swung into that near post here. There's a crowd of players in there, and as always, there's a lot of jostling going on. Yeah, players leaning over each other. Is that an example of zonal not working? McCarthy making that run and no one picking up the space? Well, that's been a great one for the zonal system. He's found there's too many grey areas in the zonal system. Lucas Neal. Savage. Blackburn leading 3-2 on aggregate and beautifully through to of all people, Lucas Neal! Well, goodness me, what was he doing there? Great run from him, couldn't find the target with the shot. Well, it's, super, it's super plays, you've seen the space open up in front of him, but what a delightful ball from two guy. You know, sometimes you look at two guy and you think, has he seen the runner? Make no mistake, he's seen the runner, he sees everything on that pitch. As Tim Sherwood said at half-time, he sees that picture that no-one else is seeing. Yeah, yeah, he's very good. We used to have a player at, uh, at Ipswich, Arnold Muir, and fantastic pass with the ball, the Dutch fella. And he used to say, you make the run, I will decide when the time is right to make the pass. So don't hesitate and think I haven't seen you. I see the lot, and I'll decide when the pass gets delivered. He didn't used to say, you make the run to you. Well, now and again, from a set-piece, maybe. You get back and defend. Which I was more than happy to do. It's a, it's a long walk up to the opposite 18-yard uh, box from the halfway line. Another player that two guy always reminds me of is Michael Laudra. Maybe we're talking about a, a slightly higher level with Laudra, but just that ability to stroll and Laudra could run at people as well, but just the vision and effortlessness of it all. Yeah, but two guys good because he. Oh, what was that challenge? It was a very strange one. I wonder if the assistant saw anything. No, it's OK. Bentley just jumped, and there was a moment when someone overreacted there, but, yeah. Well, I think Dudy's just uh, put his body across David Bentley, and it's, I think it's six and one half dozen than the other, and I don't know what Dudy is uh, making the fuss about. What he was doing is going down and holding his face and trying to get the player in trouble, wasn't he? Wow. It's the worst thing in the game at the moment, that I'm afraid. Well, it's cheating. <laughs> Next game uh, is at home against Wigan for Blackburn Rovers. Paul Scharner, the Austrian who plays it in the midfield for Wigan, is here. One Austrian in the Wigan side, and one Austrian in the Middlesbrough side at the weekend, and one Austrian in the Salzburg side tonight. They're all over the place, aren't they? Can't move for Austrians in Lancashire. Good play from uh, Andre Ria. Having a good steady game this evening. Von Lanten. Takes deflection and they have the corner. Still got to be careful for all the good play, still got to be careful. Yeah, it only takes one slip or one second to uh, concede a goal. Ziegler for me had a fantastic chance earlier this start of the second half, wasted it. Well, we know how good Yanko is in the air. If they can get the delivery right, which they nearly did. Here's Carboni. Cross is deflected, and through to just about the safest pair of hands in the Premiership. Brad Friedel, 80 caps for the US of A, and uh, retired now from international football. I thought Bodnar did quite well for Salzburg just there, and the, the advanced right wing position, the right back wing number two. He's never quite got a quality ball in, but I think all his uh, teammates were waiting for a perfect uh, cross again. Sometimes you just got to gamble and just hope the ball arrives in there anyhow and just take a chance.
Caught by Everton. Keenly contested this game. Salzburg need a foothold in it though, or else they are drifting out of this UEFA Cup before the group stage, which will be a big blow. So much money having been invested. Pedersen went down rather too easily. The referee was unimpressed. Yeah, I think he was never going to catch the ball and more or less played the ball out of play before he ran into the de defender. Von Lanten. Tiffin. Good pressure from Blackburn, forcing Salzburg back towards their own goal. Salzburg can create something, Niko Kovac. They're happy to sit and play on the counter-attack at the moment, Blackburn Rovers. And two guy misplaces a pass and then another, and that's a rarity. Dangerously forward towards Zickler, surely had ball. Assistant saw it, referee agrees. Well, when I first saw the ball going into Zickler, I thought he could have left the ball for his... Uh... Strike partner Janko, who seems to be clear in the inside left position. Can he leave that? Hard to see from that angle, isn't it? Tell you what, were I a Blackburn Rovers fan, sitting in the, the Darwin end, I'd be worried about Zickler. I'd want him off. Then you'd feel the job was done, but he's a real danger. As is that man, Shabani Nanda. As is this man, David Bentley, who hits it! That takes Blackburn Rovers through to the group stage of the UEFA Cup. Wonderful. Well, I think all you can say to Ox in the uh, Red Bull Salzburg goal is uh, just pick it out of the back of the net because you're not going to save that fella. What a wonderful strike. Clean as a whistle, goalkeeper's top right hand corner. David Absolutely Blake. terrific strike. And I think if you look at Ox, he knows this is going in the back of the net and he thinks, oh, I cannot do anything about that, not in a million years. Great header from Linker. Clear the first danger, okay, but if you don't clear that. So, so sweet from Bentley, who, by the way, has been booked for his celebration for kicking out the corner flag. His manager won't be happy with that. No. But that's a perfect strike. Sat up nicely. It was hit with pace. It, it hadn't got a lot of dip in it. It was just so accurate. Ox in the Salzburg goal just knew as the ball was on its way towards him that he was going to get nowhere near it. Not even worth going for it. Always a shame about uh, picking up a yellow card when he just celebrated probably the best goal you've ever scored in professional football. I think the corner flag survived. Yeah, but the problem with that one is that it's a regulation, they know they get booked. The referees, if, if he hadn't booked him for that, he'd get marked down on the, the assessor. But the emotion of scoring a goal like that, not only in front of you, your home supporters, you know, with your teammates, it's a, just a wonderful, fantastic strike. You're not allowed to celebrate. Well, the arms were raised there, Neil and Carboni. Referees just got to calm it down, yeah. Little smile. Well, the referee stepped in nicely there, but Tiffert is angry with the referee because he just wanted to get the play going again quickly. There's a little flare-up. Tiffert actually gets up and he just wants the play to re get restarted. Good ball forward again towards Zickler. This is Janko, laid off neatly. And they are creating one or two things, and remember, 2-2 two -two takes it to extra time. Salzburg are going to make a change. Patrick Jezek, the Czech, is prepared to come on. Probably be Tiffert, I would have thought, to make way. Yeah. Tiffert off, Jezek is on. From a Sparta Prague player. Decent operator on the right side of that midfield. Forward by Lucas Neal. 
And none was going to chase here, but a foul was given. Just going back to Bentley, because we're going to argue about this till the cows come home. But going back to it, can't you celebrate without kicking the corner flag out? You yeah. do what he wants, apart from do that or take his shirt off. Take his shirt off. <laughs> or go too close to the supporters. You're not going to let it go. No, I, you know, I just think it's a, <laughs> it's a shame, that's all, you know. It's, uh, but you're right, I mean... Celebrate later on at night. I mean, Jezik's gone and played down the left-hand side, and uh, Von Lampen has moved over to the... Well, started to move over to the right, and he's ended up in the middle of the pitch again. Just still that little note of caution, though, isn't there, that 2-2 two -two would take us to extra time, a goal for Salzburg... Yeah, give us an interesting final half hour. There's just been one or two gaps open up in the in the Blackburn defence that uh, Salzburg haven't really capitalised on yet. Here's Janko. It's Dudic. Von Lanten. Bentley. Such a high for David Bentley after scoring well, as you said, probably. The best goal of his professional career so far. Fabulous goal. Forward by Von Lanten. Savage. Still important, I think, to Blackburn Rovers in these final few minutes. And he's been caught. Carboni gets a yellow card. Well, running battle, that one. I think Robbie Savage tempted Carboni into making the challenge. And with that, he departs. McQuayna is an African, is the man to replace him. Good performance from Robbie Savage. They'll be saving his legs. Gets a breather with half an hour to go. McQuayna is all energy. Really good player in there. He'll be an able deputy. Carboni. Lovely touch, lovely layoff. Here's Morton Gans Pedersen. Scores from elsewhere, still nil-nil between Spurs and Slavia Prague. West Ham are trailing by goal to nil in Sicily against Palermo. Newcastle leading 2-1 against Lavadia Tallinn, who they put up quite a show in that time. And Rangers were, I think, 2-0 up against Mulder, but Mulder have got one back. Here's Bentley. Now Benny McCarthy's offside. Just wonder what the great man Trevor Tony's got up his sleeve. Now he's going to book him for that. McCarthy's going to get a booking for cooking yeah. the ball away effectively, and uh, that's five bookings in the game now. Now, how do they turn that? Is that um, descent or time wasting or ungentlemanly conduct? Or I'm not quite sure how they work that yellow card out there. Very frustrating for Mark Hughes. I mean, if it's time wasted by kicking the ball away, it takes a fraction of a second to get the ball back out of the net and play continue. You're going to get booked for doing something like that. You might as well enjoy yourself and go and kick the corner flag out. Yeah, volley it in the back of the net, kick the corner flag out and <laughs> take your shirt off. Well, Trevor Tony and uh, Mateus are going to make a change here. They're really getting on with it down there. Vladimir Janoszko, the Slovakian, is going to come on. He started the first leg. There's Von Lanten. It's interesting. But Jezek slammed it wide. Never going to be, uh, Zickler, by the way, is going to be replaced, I think. Jezek had an opportunity there just to try and hit the target and get the ball bouncing in front of uh, Brad Friedel, but never really made the strike. Zickler's been a bit disappointing for me, you know, we heard about what a threat he is up front in front of goal and he's, he's had opportunities, but so far tonight he's uh, yet to pull the trigger in front of goal. Bentley, 
Might as well have a shot from there. Here's McQuayna. Neil. Morton Gans Pedersen now. Teases it in. Goalkeeper wasn't sure. Half punch, half flapped away by Timo Ox. Yeah, there's a good ball in from Gans Pedersen. Get in with pace, and Ox just happy to get a double fist to it and knock it out of play on the other side of the pitch. Disappointing night, really, for Alex Zickler, Vladimir Janoshko. Two times Austrian champion with Austria Vienna. Over 50 caps for his country, Slovakia. He's on. And he's a quality player, Janoshko. He could come on and make a difference, but might just be stretching it. They have just over 25 minutes to try and turn this round. Salzburg. Emerton. Trying to tease the cross away. It was well watched that by Dudic. But look at the commitment again. Yeah, he's done well. He's, he's lost the ball, and uh, first thing he knows he's got to do is try and win it back. Okay, he's knocked it out for throwing, but he's got himself back in position. Well done, Brett Emerton. For me, Salzburg just lack a little bit of uh, creativity. They don't really seem to have anybody that uh, can run past anybody with the ball and take people out of the game either with decent passes. Von Lanten. He might be really the only player you could say that about Johan Von Lanten. It's well, a two guy. Yeah, he's got the potential, but we keep talking about his potential. We don't often see it. Kovac, now Carboni, Benny McCarthy and David Bentley with a spectacular goal, giving Blackburn the advantage in this tie. See what Salzburg can do, they might as well have a go. Janoczko, now Carboni. This is Bodnar, all they need is a break, and Blackburn would suddenly be under pressure. And they're not going to get it like that. That one is going to go out for a throw from Dudic. Never the happiest moment, that. No, when you have a shot go out for a throw, and it's always a little bit disappointing. It never seemed set, didn't seem to make his mind of what he was going to try and do, and then in the last minute he thought, well, I'll try and hit a right foot volley from 35 yards. And he's left-footed. And he's left-footed, and it went 35 yards straight across the pitch. Salzburg are attacking the end with the 35, 36, 37 fans who've made that coach journey over from uh, Austria behind it. Well, I think that's used for the players' comps then. <laughs> Fascinating, actually, the colour scheme. Fascinating, might be pushing it, but interesting. Some wearing violet and white, some wearing red and white. That's because violet is the old colour of this club, Salzburg, but of course the new Red Bull Salzburg, they have to wear red. Perhaps neither fascinating nor interesting. Neil was stretching, and this is Janko. And this is an opening. This is Nico Kovac for Salzburg, and it's a great challenge by Uya. A timely one as well. Went to sleep for a moment there, Blabber Rovers. Now McQuayna. They've had opportunities on the break, Salzburg, but they just haven't used those opportunities to the full. Two or three times now in the game, they've Caught Blackburn on a bit of a break in space, but haven't used it well enough. Here's the super strong Shabani Nanda. Benny McCarthy. Handball, surely, against Carboni, who's been booked, and this referee, slightly capricious nature, they've tried to take it quickly. The referee's got his back turned, and yeah, come on, guys, bring it back. It's Kovac's book for deliberate handball. Interesting to see René Alphazer. Kovac is coming off. René Alphazer is certainly a player I like. Attacking midfield player. Eight goals last season, three goals so far this season. 
he will give us some impetus going forward. Surprised we hadn't seen him a little bit earlier on. I guess he's standing over the free kick. <laughs> David Bentley, of course. Uh, probably Robbie Savage wishes he hadn't gone off quite so soon. The Pedersen's there as well. Two guys loitering with a degree of intent. They leave it for Pedersen! Great save! Slightly lucky, maybe. The flag was up. The flag was up anyway, so it wouldn't have counted, but... The first save wasn't bad, you know, because we're sitting behind that and he hit it so well. A lot of movement on the ball. The ball is wobbling as it flies past the defenders. The keeper gets an arm down, a thigh down. The two Blackburn players following in. They must have just straight into an offside position before the kick was taken. The Yanko winning a rare flick on, really, in the general direction of Janoczko. So now they've got... Jezek, Janoczko, the big man Janko, scored in his last three games. Von Lanten, Aufhauser, and that's it, really. Final throw of the die from Travertoni and Mateus. Emerton, brilliantly done by super fit Brett Emerton. They're queuing up, they're queuing up. And he chips it into the hands of the goalkeeper. Good play again by the goalkeeper, but I, I think all the strikers probably got in there a little bit too early and then it'll get in marked out of the move. And Everton didn't really have an option left. Super play that by Janoszko. Zurab's been immense in the centre of defence. It's given away a little bit sloppily and they've given away a free kick. And this is where 20 minutes to go, Blackburn Rovers need to close the deal. Yeah. Mokwena really having to lunge at that and try and get the ball off out. How's it? Andre Uria making the mistake. McQueen tried to bail his teammates out a bit, but uh, couldn't do it without giving the free kick away. Well, Yanos goes over it. Jezek's there. Von Lanten as well. And it's curled just over. Just over by Vladimir Yanosko. And Friedl had given up on that. Yeah, well, I was uh, watching Friedl to see if he tried to go early and anticipate where the free kick was going, and he, he didn't move at all. And I think he thought that was going to be rather close. One interesting point, Dave, about the substitution that Salzburg has made. You think, you know, they've got to take a little bit of a gamble, and they've still got the same back four on, and they've taken sort of attacking players off and creative players off, and you get kept your steady head is on at the back I thought he might have taken at least one defender off and gone with three at the back at least Yanko and lucky there not to get a free kick this is oh yeah Emerton this would be a real fillip for Blackburn Rovers if they can make the group stage some more of these nights down at Ewood Park he's given handball against Shivani Nonda yeah, I think uh, Shabani Nanda was a little bit unfortunate there. The referee's assistant on the far side of the pitch was very quick to uh, get his flag up. I think he thought it had uh, hit Nanda's hands. Hooked away by Vargas. Big header by Uya, who's been solid again tonight. Referee warned him for kicking the ball away there. Andre Uya, the former PSV player. Here's Everton. Terrific play. Uses his body very well and lovely touch on the ball, Brett Everton. Now Morton Gabs Pedersen. He fancied a shot there, but at the end lays it off to McCarthy. And that was a very strong challenge that came in from Vargas, but fortunately for both him and for McCarthy, he didn't make contact. Yeah, McCarthy saw it coming and uh, flicked the ball over him and got out of the way of the challenge. And here goes Lucas Neal again. Still Lucas Neal wins a corner. He's been playing in the wrong position all these years, Lucas Neal. Yeah, she'll be playing sort of a left winger coming in on his right foot. 
There's Vargas making the late challenge again on Neil and just managing to put him off with the shot. Good, terrific play. Nice little back heel into his path by Ben McCarthy. And of course, he's an aerial threat as well. He wants a goal tonight. He feels his uh, name is going to be on the score sheet. And it goes from Pedersen. Sometimes when you've got a weapon like that, like his left foot, you can almost overdo it a bit, can't you? Well, I think it's sat nicely for him. He's just the only thing he did wrong was miss the target. He does strike a lovely ball, as we saw from the free kick. Here's Jezek. Desperately trying to find a way back into the game here. Red Bull, Salzburg. Too long for Carboni. Good chasing back into this late stage by Shabani Nanda. Mokwena. Will give it away. Opportunity maybe for Salzburg, but ball was too strong for Janoczko in the centre. Here's Morten Gans Pedersen. Tired legs, game just starting to open up. Well, this is what uh, Salzburg haven't been able to do tonight, which is string any decent amount of passes together. Blackburn doing it now because they've got a comfortable two-goal lead. And this is all Blackburn really need to do from now to the end of the game, keep possession of the ball and make Salzburg work as hard as possible for them to get a touch. Great fitness levels as well from Blackburn Rovers. They're keeping going here. It's yeah, closed there by Bentley. Yeah, they've worked very hard, especially through that midfield area, just to uh, pressurise Salzburg into making mistakes. They've knocked them out the stride early on. They've all worked very, very hard as a team, Blackburn. So credit where credit's due from that point. Inside from Janoczko. He has it again. Carboni. Rather ironically, Red Bull Salzburg look a little bit short of energy. It should be okay on the wings, though. 76 minutes, 45 seconds, folks. That's how long it took him to make the joke about wings. It's got to be a tenor in the pot for that. At least. <laughs> I might need some a bit later. I also noticed you called the goalkeeper Ox strong after about five minutes. All in the notebook, Russell. All in the notebook. And here's Yanko. Now Von Lanten. They still have hope in this tie, Salzburg. Make no mistake about that. Lucas Neal trying to get back. Here's Jezek. Rebounded back, I think, off the attacking player, yeah. Goal kick. Yeah, referee agreed with you, Dave, giving the goal kick. It's just interesting there when uh, uh, Johan uh, von Lantham got the ball down on this near side touchline. He was doing his little double shuffle, a little bit like Ronaldo at uh, Manchester United, and a little bit of showboating. And you think, well, hold on a minute, fella, you're 2 0 down. Carthy's just struggling with a knock down there. Here's Shivani Nonda. Now two guy. Forward by McCarthy towards Nanda. 
Out wide to Bentley. Two guys, they wanted to shoot. Playing his own game down there, Benny McCarthy. Blackburn have the air of a side that thinks they're through, and they're probably right. Approaching the final ten minutes, and Salzburg need to score twice here. Pedersen. Well, that was an arm in the face, wasn't it, from Vargas? It was a very strong challenge. Yeah, it did look like he led with the, the left forearm. It was the first ball as the challenge was made, but whether the referee could see it. Both Bentley and Neil are making the point that they thought it was an elbow. Well, the crowd was close enough and uh, the crowd's reaction isn't usually that wrong. Mark Hughes is absolutely fuming. It's one to watch very, very carefully. The referee's assistant is on the wrong side of the pitch. So he can't help him. And it's going to go unpunished. It's going to go unpunished. Love to just see the referee's position. Here it is again, Russell. No, it's a disgusting challenge. In from Lucas Neal. <laughs> now McCarthy. Well, I mentioned, and I don't want to overdo it, that the referee suspended in Portugal. He's not had an awful night, but referees are judged by getting the big decisions right, and that's a shocker. Absolute shocker. It was a stone-cold red card, and yeah. he's not seen it. And I think Barkas has made one or two uh, reckless challenges in this second half, and I think when you see a player behaving like that, going into a 50-50 and an incident happen, as a referee, you've got to be on top of it. Here's Von Lanten, just reminding us that the tie's not over yet. It's a corner kick. You wait till the next time Vargas gets the ball as well. That's where Blackburn mustn't lose their heads as Gavs Pedersen comes back on. Yeah, dangerous situation again for Blackburn. They've got to see this set piece away. The referee's telling them to cut it out. Pedersen getting involved, but he's making the point that the guy's just whacked me at the other end. Well, we've seen Dudic go down holding his face when somebody patted him on the back early on in the game. Can they give themselves hope here, Salzburg? It's a good ball in, and it's drilled back across from Friedel. Finally does well, nearly lets it go. It's behind for a corner. Blackburn Rovers quite lucky there to still be 2-0 up. Yeah, they've just got to switch out. They've gone to sleep a little bit. And then it's followed by a hopeless corner. You never can be sure with football. They look like they're cruising. They look like they're through. They can see the goal then. Well, in uh, the first leg, it was in uh, injury time that Red Bull Salzburg scored their second goal in the equaliser. Very, very late in the game, more or less the last kick. And they'll keep going right to the last kick of this game. Paul Gallagher and Franny Jeffers are going to come on for Blackburn. It'll be a double change up front. Little nick there by two guy. The two guys just helping Lincoln to the ground. Just to cut a little uh, nick there. The is 18. This is last kick of the game, two guy. On Lincoln. He'll get a big ovation. Huge ovation from the Blackburn Rovers fans. They love him here. And you can understand why. Benny McCarthy will get a big uh, round of applause as well. And they'll take their time. They'll take the sting out of the game. But they're nearly there. And replacing number 10, Benny McCarthy, he's 17, Francis Jeffers. Good young player, Gallagher. 12 goals on loan at Stoke last season. Here comes one of the forgotten men of the Premiership, really, Franny Jeffers. Well, an unmistakable profile.
I did hear a, a very funny chant about Franny Jeffers, but I can't share it with you, I'm afraid. <laughs> One or two knocking about. But uh, he's a sort of player that needs to really relaunch his career, and Mark Hughes has given him that opportunity. He's got plenty of quality, good finisher, Jeffers. Just never quite got it going consistently, has it? No, Certainly got ability, though. He's got the ability, he just hasn't taken it on to the level that uh, people thought he was going to. One full finisher, a little goal poacher, sniffs goals out. Here's Pedersen, rolled across towards Nonda. Final throws, maybe, for Salzburg. Don't forget, top quality analysis of the game to come from uh, former Blackburn Rovers legends, really, Mike Newell and Tim Sherwood, along with Tim Cathal in our studio. We didn't like that challenge. <laughs> Jeffers and Bednar. But Bednar, you can't just stop and have a square up. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Play to the whistle. It's very strange. I suppose that's how he won the free kick, though. Yeah. Everton. Wasn't a very clever challenge from Yeze. Palermo 3, West Ham United 0, not a great night for Alan Pardew. That'll be West Ham concentrating on the Premiership and the Cups domestically. It'll be disappointing for them. I think they were hoping that they could go there and get a result tonight. Long journey back with nothing for them. Tough game for them on Sunday as well. Here's Zurab. It's asking a lot now. It'd be really stretching it to see Salzburg getting the two goals they needed. Maybe unlucky not to get one. But the better well, side's leading. You say unlucky. I think they've, they've had the opportunities. You know, they've, they've found themselves with space in and around the 18-yard box, but they, they just haven't finished the, the moves off. They haven't capitalised on the opportunities that came their way. Basically, just down to uh, poor play in the final third. You know, they haven't been very creative through the midfield, so the chances that did come their way were, I think, more down to a little bit of uh, sloppy defending from Blackburn, and if you can't capitalise on that, then really, you know, you're going to struggle because Blackburn has stopped them from creating anything in the midfield areas. They've just pressurised them out of it, and... You know, Blackburn have looked at that going forward all night. Blackburn have a throw, you can see in the background there, those fans starting to make their way home. They think the job is done. It's one of the great grounds for that. Ewood Park, the uh, houses up on the hill, way on the far side, above the CIS stand. You can see people making their way home up the hill. They'll be happy tonight, they should be anyway. Here's Alf Hauser. Von Lanten. Good work by McQuayne, still closing down. Yezek. Great noise now inside Ewood Park, they're cheering their side into the group stage, they've got more European drama to come. Janoczko. Alfhausen. Janoczko again, they've got a score in the next 30 seconds, really to have any chance, and they've given it away. Guess who's furthest man forward again? Lucas Neal. Nonda's onto it. Great turn by Nonda as well. Find his way through to Lucas Neal. 
Nearly broke through for him on the one two on the edge of the box. Lucas Neal still desperate for that goal. We'll be hearing from players and staff after the game. Our intrepid reporter Andy Botros down in the tunnel. He's, he's captain as well, Neil. I'd love to know what's got into him tonight. Here's Franny Jeffers. I just think it's been strange that uh, Salzburg have kept that same solid back four on all night long. Here goes Bentley again from long range. Twice is too much to ask on the same evening. Uh, the full backs for Salzburg have never really ventured Tonight's forward, never got in attacking positions, but any good crosses in. Yes, eh? I don't know if you just heard that, but uh, man of the match announced and they're giving it to Andre Oya, who obviously was the, the outstanding candidate, Russell. <laughs> he's had a solid game at the back. I also think his, uh, his centre-half partner alongside him had a good shout for it. Three minutes of any time at the end of this match, three minutes. And what about the fella who stuck one in the top corner from 35 yards? He would have a, a shout as well, Bentley. Well, people would think he's just getting that for the goal, then, wouldn't they? Nonda. Another who's had a super game, and Everton, too. And Lucas Into stoppage Neal. time. Well, Lucas Neal's been extraordinary. I think it's been a, a solid performance from, from Blackburn. Now, Nonda went down there under a challenge. The assistant didn't seem to make too much of it. He was standing right next to the incident. There's a little bit of shoving and nonsense going on. Everton's had enough of Dudic. Oh. Ball's come out of the crowd now and uh, hit someone on the head, Janoczko. Well, why doesn't the referee's assistant just stand there till the players part and separate? You know, rather than walking away from him while the argument's still going on. Yellow and card that... for Brent Everton for the aggression there, yeah. Don't get that, really. Well be disappointing again for the manager that another player has been booked rather needlessly because these do add up yeah it just spoils it a fraction here goes Bentley little weaving run there's been a high energy performance from Blackburn the ball's not coming back from the crowd now for a well, having a party away to our left and the Blackburn end, absolutely loving it. They've got the band down there, they've got the drums going. If it wasn't for the weather, you'd think you're on your holiday somewhere nice. Auf Hazard. Again, another break by Salzburg, they just fizzled out, you know, it's a, a little fancy back heel and possession regained by Blackburn easily. Before you write in, I'm not saying Blackburn's not nice, I used to live here, I know. You think you are on here already, don't you? There's Neil. Back from Oya. Final ten seconds of the game. It has been the night they dreamt of here in Blackburn. Noise is deafening now. Referees had a couple of sneaky looks at his watch. It was a scything challenge again by Alfaz at this time. Now that Franny Jeffers, big chance for Jeffers. Keeper maybe did just enough, but it's still alive. And he had Gallagher in the middle, and that was a bit greedy in the end for Franny Jeffers. But it doesn't matter. Blackburn Rovers 